Six, your election headquarters now, and we are less than 24 hours from the first returns of the midterms being posted. Now, Governor Kate Brown and Republican challenger Representative Newt Bueller are both energizing their base before tomorrow's big vote. Valina Jones live tonight to show us. Valina? Well, Jeff and Jennifer, we have already made state history with the highest midterm election voter turnout already. Just last week, we had already around 800,000 ballots cast. Now, with those extra votes, both candidates are hoping that'll be in their favor. With one final push to the polls, <laughs> Democratic Governor Kate Brown and Republican challenger Newt Bueller traveled all over the state hoping those cheers will lead them to victory. We are in position to produce a historic win for Oregon. <laughs> In an unexpectedly close race, Representative Bueller is looking for Republicans to regain control after more than 30 years. The state lawmaker took up key issues like homelessness, a crisis he says he'll end by the end of his term if elected. That proposal is a joke. If you want to be successful, you need to invest in affordable housing. We've invested over $300 million since I've become governor. We have either built or under development 14,000 units. Another key issue, education, something Brown plans to increase access to career and technical training, raise the number of school days, and reduce class sizes. But Bueller says it's time for a change. It's a choice between a status quo governor who has failed to lead on solving these big problems uh, versus me who has a reputation and track record of leading with an open mind. Governor Brown is running for her own four-year term after winning a special election in 2016. Bueller is a self-described moderate. The last time the two went head-to-head, -head, they were vying for the Secretary of State seat in 2012. While Brown looks for another victory, Bueller hopes this rematch will play out differently. Now, we've already seen quite a few people come out tonight and cast their ballot here at this drop box. Now, if you still have not been able to vote, good news, you still have time. All you have to do is come to one of these ballot drop off boxes, put in your ballot before 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Reporting in downtown Portland, Valina Jones.